Bonjour everyone, this is Marianne Lecoeur of HowToBeChicAndElegant.com and in this video today I am going to ask the rather worrying question Has the friendship bubble burst? If you are new to my channel, a big welcome to you and please click subscribe and click on the little bell to receive the notification. Thank you! So we have all heard about bubble in the financial markets for instance. There is this run up in interest and then it crashes suddenly. So first of all, where does this interest in friendship come from? Why do French women have this reputation of looking stylish and chic and elegant? So from Coco Chanel to my own books, how to be chic and elegant and the tidy closet it shows that there is a really big interest in how French women dress. So this interest, this fascination could be, you know, due to many reasons. It could be that French women appear younger than their years. It could be that they look chic, yes, effortless. It could be that uh, they look sexy without trying too hard. Or it could be that we look désinvolte. Or it could be this little je ne sais quoi, this actual something that we can't quite pinpoint, but it's there, but we don't quite know what is it. So please let me know in the comments below why you have this interest in French chic, why you are interested into how French women dress. Over the past few years, there has been tremendous interest in French chic. And it seems that even now, every week, there seems to be a new article written by a new writer proclaiming to hold the secrets to the French chic allure. But really, if you ask French women themselves about French chic, they probably shrug their shoulders and be, you know, in bewilderment. In a recent article about what young US business women wear, it listed eight items that were boring, lifeless, dull. But <laughs> seven of these eight items, <gasps> they belong to my wardrobe or at least listed in my books. I am in shock. And on top of this, a viewer recently asked me this very good question. How, while the emphasis on keeping classic clothes for longer, how can we keep from being bored with our wardrobe. So first of all, in this question, I have always dressed this way and I never get bored even to this day. Secondly, for instance, I give you an example of a painter. If you ask any painter why they use a limited palette, a limited materials, they will tell you that it increases their creativity, not reduces it. And if you ask them why they do this, they will tell you that, you know, their style becomes instantly recognizable as theirs. And you know, you can apply that to style, and this is what French women do. You know, uh, some people prefer to flit from trend to trend, and maybe because they want to um, find themselves. But once you actually know who you are, you know, which person you are, what you actually love, you know, you will keep to that limited palette, this limited material. But you can introduce a pop here and there from various trends into your style. For instance, a pop of color, or a detailing, or some style of shoes, or a different hemline. You see, this is what French women do. We have a classic style that we really are passionate about, that we keep to, but then we introduce a little pop of trends here and there. So that, you know, essentially this style is always ours. So when I read articles about French chic that says that, you know, French chic is too classic or too traditional and is boring, or even reading uh, comments uh, on my videos or on other people's channels, you know, asking, well, um, 
saying that you know they don't want to hear about French chic anymore or they don't want to to um, read or watch um, videos about what French women wear you know I wonder has Frenchy bubble burst funnily enough on this very topic I don't know if you have noticed but there are very few French women who actually um, write or do videos on this topic on French chic for the non-French market and it is important in my view to listen to French women talk about French chic of course because we bring the uh, practical aspect the cultural aspect of why we wear what we wear and you know the reasons behind our decisions when we shop and when we dress. Please let me know what you think about this. So now that we know about the interest and the possible reasons for it, do you think that the French chic bubble has burst? Please let me know in the comments below. Yes or no? So my opinion is no, the French chic bubble has not burst yet. You know, due to the sheer number of articles on this topic, you know, that are published regularly and a number of videos that are produced on this topic regularly and seeing, you know, my viewers comment actually love this topic I would say no, it has not burst yet So I will leave you with a famous quote from my favorite style icon, Coco Chanel and she said La mode se démode, le style jamais which translated in English is Fashion gets unfashionable, but style never. Okay, you see, there are some people who will step out of fashion to embrace a style that is entirely there. And they stand out and show the world who they really are. Instead of letting fashion dictate to them who they should be from season to season. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. It was an important topic, I think. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! So, I leave you with this famous quote from Coco Chanel, my favorite style icon. And she said, La mode se démode, mais le style jamais. Which translated in English is fashion <laughs> so I leave you with this famous quote from my favorite style icon Coco Chanel and she said that la mode se démode but, but <laughs>